Hi, this is Sandeep Bharatiya and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. Oracle is bringing an end to Oracle Rack or Real Application Cluster in Oracle Database Standard Edition. What does it mean for existing users? Uh, what options do they have for high availability production? Let's talk about it with our next guest, Cassius Ru, VP of Customer Experience at Sios Technology. Cassius, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, can you please quickly explain what exactly was Oracle Rack doing? Yeah, so Oracle Rack provides customers with high availability via an active-active or an active standby uh, functionality, allowing databases to be parallel active on servers, gives you higher throughput, uh, allows for high availability should one server crash, and then you actually have the ability to have that secondary server take over the workload. So it really gives you a, a measure of high availability and then through throughput for database access. So it was uh, playing a very critical role when it comes to high availability. Uh, now they're ending support for, for it in Oracle Database standardization. What does it mean for, 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 for users and you know, what options do they have after this? What it means for users who were using standard edition with Rack is that they're going to have to transition away from that form of high availability protection in their standard edition version. Um, Oracle has kind of laid out for their customers that there are several options for them to choose as they migrate away from the RAT capabilities that they were used to in standard edition. Um, they can move to Oracle's enterprise edition, which has a higher licensing cost. And that will have impacts, of course, on budgets. And with a lot of the uncertainty in the economy right now, for many customers, that's going to be something that they hadn't planned on doing or may impact them negatively and not be an option. Oracle has also provided customers with the option of moving to their rack single instance. And rather than having the active active high availability capability, the single instance really gives you a, a traditional uh, monitoring and simple recovery mechanism for a single node. Beyond that, um, Oracle lays out options for migrating to Oracle Cloud as a method for high availability or increasing availability. But those aren't the only options available to customers. Alternatively, they can look at other HA solutions that provide support for Oracle's database suite, such as the SIOS Protection Suite for Linux, which provides essentially the same comprehensive high availability and disaster recovery protection while supporting the lower cost of the standard edition licensing. So that would save you from having to upgrade to enterprise edition or take on the higher burden costs of uh, migrating to the cloud. When we talk about Oracle Cloud, I mean, they are, you know, they're building it, they're adding a lot of features to it, but they are like not the, uh, in the same kind of, you would say, tier when you look at AWS or GCP or Azure. I mean, I have watched Larry's keynotes and <laughs> he really goes after AWS there. Uh, but, you know, the, so when you look at customers, you know, a lot of customers, Oracle is trying to persuade them to move to Oracle Cloud. But that also means they have to do a lot of work to 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 migrate. Uh, uh, so if they do choose to move to Oracle Cloud, uh, is there any kind of assurance that they will still get the high availability production? If they don't want, then what are the options? Is, is Oracle Cloud their only option? Yeah, so that's a great question. And really, you, you, you hit it right on the head. There is a lot of overhead costs with moving to any cloud. Um, and so a lot of IT industries are considering, or IT shops are considering, is this what we want to take on right now? Do we want to move to Oracle Cloud um, from standard edition and the, the D support of Rack? And, and they're also asking that question, which they should. Is Oracle Cloud actually the best cloud option or the only cloud option for us? As you mentioned, some of the heavyweights there that um, Larry likes to take down, AWS, there's Azure, there's Google Cloud. Um, there are a number of cloud providers out there, and it's important for those who are ending or are coming up on that end of rack support to realize that Oracle Cloud isn't your only option. That while it does provide you with some availability mechanisms, you can use uh, 
high availability software like the SIOS Protection Suite in any of the other clouds as well to give you that same protection and guarantee. Uh, so you can use it in uh, Google Cloud or Azure or AWS, and it gives you uh, all of the options available. So you can actually, instead of having to go to Oracle Cloud, choose the cloud that's right for you. Analyze what are the costs, uh, what are the benefits, what are the features. Um, you know, as you mentioned, AWS seems to be the one that many people are hunting after. Give it some consideration whether it has the features that are there for you. And you can achieve the high availability for your Oracle database in uh, AWS or Azure using the protection suite, which gives you uh, simplified management via our UI, automated monitoring recovery, um, assurances against uh, IO errors, IO fencing problems. It has um, replication without limits. So if you're considering going to the cloud and your concern is what happens uh, when a region goes down, the, you can have replication that takes you outside of region with the SIOS product. And it gives you that flexibility to use not only Oracle's database components, but we also have what we call application aware recovery kits or ARCs that lend themselves to protecting the rest of your infrastructure in your enterprise environment. Uh, what exactly is uh, application aware? Can you can you explain that? And also our, our arc, and is there something like Oracle Arc? And and uh, especially in this this context of this discussion, can you like elaborate a bit more on that <laughs> term? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So Sios has been in the business of doing high availability and disaster recovery for twenty plus years, and over that uh, time, we have had a number of real life customer experiences that have allowed us or afforded us an opportunity to learn what customers really need for availability, for monitoring, for recovery. Um, and we built that type of real world knowledge and application awareness into what we call these application recovery kit modules. These modules plug into our LifeKeeper core, which does the clustering functions and really allows any application with a uh, recovery kit to plug in and be instantly um, up and running for your high availability protection. In the case of the Oracle application recovery kit, you can consider it uh, a recovery kit or a module that knows uh, how to stop, how to start, how to monitor, how to recover from basic failure scenarios of an Oracle database. And in the event of a catastrophic outage, or in the event of a server crashing or a server failing, it has the application aware knowledge to fail that Oracle database over to the other server. Um, the, the fact that our application aware recovery kits are wizard based and they have an interface that makes it easy for customers to configure it in their environment and get up and running also adds to um, the ability for people to create a comprehensive high availability solution rather quickly. And if I would add, those recovery kits span the breadth and depth of your enterprise environment. So not just for Oracle, but for other applications such as SAP, uh, you have these um, recovery kit modules that have combined industry standards, the application specific knowledge, and then years of working directly with customers to hone and refine and create something that really is hardened and solid and able to give them what they're looking for, uh, whether that's with um, standard edition on premise or a standard edition going to one of the clouds or some hybrid infrastructure environment that they may have. And if I'm not wrong, Oracle also has something called Oracle Data Guard, which kind of offers the you know high availability data protection and disaster recovery, something that SIOS also offer. Uh, so uh, how good is Oracle's own Data Guard, number one? Number two is that, of course, you know, if you're a SIOS customer and Oracle customer, uh, can you kind of just switch from that and drop in replacement? Or, or how do you take advantage of both? I'm always one that's going to trumpet the benefits and the value of the SIO solution. Um, you could call it because I'm a SIOS employee, but more so because I'm really uh, passionate about the solution itself and I've been with it for so many years and realized that it has tremendous value. What I would say um, for Oracle Data Guard customers and what we've seen uh, for those that are considering Data Guard, 
we have experienced uh, working with a lot of customers who find that it's a little more cumbersome for them because it's a, a really command line intensive setup in monitoring and restart and recovery operation. Um, for, for our data guard customers, you really have to have that uh, awareness of that command line interface and, and, and that ability to double check your work, sometimes triple check your work, uh, making sure that you're not making simple typos and errors. Uh, and for your team, making sure that your entire team has that comprehensive background. That said, um, we can both complement and replace data guard solutions. So in a complementary role, uh, what we would do is invite our customers that are using, that want to use data guard. Maybe they've been using it for years or uh, maybe they've just heard and, and bought into the idea of trying data guard for the back end. We complement it by bringing our application recovery kits to their environment for the rest of the tier. So data guard, of course, will cover your database back end. But what about the other applications that are part of your enterprise stack? What about the SAP? What about your web front end that needs to be monitored and recovered? What about other components that are, are maybe very specific to your uh, recovery environment that you need protection for? And that's where we would complement the Oracle Data Guard. We would bring in our LifeKeeper protection suite, our SIOS protection suite with LifeKeeper and the application aware recovery kits, uh, build out your environment, to complement data guard as the back end that's doing the database work. But we can also replace it, as we mentioned earlier, with our SIOS um, Protection Suite Oracle Application Recovery Kit. Mixed with the other components of the SIOS environment, we create an end to end protection suite stack for the applications, the database back end. Um, we also have protection recovery kits for uh, storage, so data replication. Uh, creating an NFS network stack, or even monitoring and recovery of network-attached um, file systems. Excellent for explaining that. Now, we all agree that uh, th these transitions are not easy, you know. So what resources are there for customers so that they can easily, you know, uh, it, it, the transition is very smooth and seamless for them? Yeah, so um, on the Oracle website, Oracle gives some guidance and documentation on customers that are wanting to uh, or needing to migrate from standard edition and wanting to keep high availability in the forefront. Uh, they provide some suggestions of how they can uh, convert to either the single instance or how they can move to the enterprise edition, which is at a higher license cost. But SIOS also provides consulting and professional services via our professional services team. And that team can provide you with um, details on analyzing your environment, understanding which solution is best for you, and then going about helping you do the heavy lifting to either go to one of the public clouds that we talked about earlier, or simply take your standard edition license and protect it in the protection suite for Linux in SIOS and making sure that you have the high availability for your enterprise applications. Kashas, thank you so much for taking your time out today and explaining uh, the options customers have there. And I look forward to talk to you again. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it.